You will have to stop doing that. You're going to draw negative attention to the both of us if you keep it up. You're fidgeting. It's not something you should be doing. Not here of all places. What? It's my throat. My... My tongue. My... I'm just feeling under the weather. No, it's not common for my people, no. But it happens from time to time. No, it's... Train your eyes upon the wall. Those swords, that shield. Trace around it with your eyes. It'll help calm you and stop your fidgeting. It's a dangerous thing to do around of mortals and cryptids, monsters. You should know that with all the monster girls that you've been around. She's my sister. She's one of the elder of our kind. One of the last. He's... He's my father, that portrait. He's long gone, slain by your kind, which is why you have to be extra careful of how you're acting. Any false move and they're going to do something to you. There's lots of them trained looking at us right now. In fact, if something awful were to happen, I'm going to coil you up real tightly because they're unlikely to hit me and we're going to bolt out of here so just be ready. Those doors, those are the only two that will be unguarded while the usher is in the room but if you see him in the green cloak leave, tell me. That means things are going desperately wrong. Why have you come here? Sister, my leash. Why have you come here? We have come because I have found this gentleman who's been the source of all of the missing monster girls. He... No. No. Don't bring him closer. I can smell it on him from here. He is dangerous for our kind. Okay. All right. No, I agree. Very dangerous. No. I said don't come closer. He doesn't understand the power that he seems to have. In fact, I... I'm not planning to come any closer. I wanted to tell you of what I have found. It's... I am telling you now, it was dangerous for you to bring him here. We don't know what causes this, but it has happened before. Every cell in his body is affected. And you... Your eyes... Your eyes... It won't be long. Me? There's something wrong with me? There's nothing wrong with me. I just... I went out on a mission to find him, and I did, and... He's not a bad guy. He's... We just need to help him find a cure, and then... You will pine for him, slay anyone who comes near him, and perish in your madness. Cure. The cure is to end him, but you won't do it. <laughs> I can see in your eyes. You're angry by me suggesting it. Oh. No. 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 I will not. I will not allow that to happen. And. And. What are. How could we be sure that that would happen? How could we be sure that that would cure him? That's no cure. 
That's no cure at all. Why would you suggest that? It's it's not my... I'm just sick. It's just it's the cold. It's just... It happens to our people. It's just... Go. You are lucky I love you. Or I would have slain you before you came through those doors. Okay. Fine. I'll go. It's... No. He stays. He is too dangerous to leave. What? No. No, he doesn't go. He doesn't. Babe. I no. said no. No. Get through he the doors. stays. Ah. Guards. No. Stop him. No, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to squeeze you too hard. We have to get out of here fast. No, they're right on our heels. They're just... No, I... No. <sighs> No, I'm in the trees. No, they're, they don't know the trees like I do. Not out here. I grew up here. They're just guards. They came from far away. Just here. Watch your head. Watch your head. Just, no. No, I planned on this. I planned on it. I knew that they would. We have to whisper. They will search. A good couple of feet into the forest, but they won't dare go further, not at night. Which is why we did this at night. She was certain, certain that I would go along with whatever she wanted. She wouldn't have planned it not like this. My darling, my love. Let's, what? Well, no, I didn't say my, I did. I did. No. She is right. She is right. You are... I am... I'm in love with you. This can't be. Not this quickly. Not this soon. That's not how love... We don't... My, my kind don't fall in love... Not the way others do. It's different. It takes a long time. It, but I do. God, when she said she would have to end you to end this curse, this the cure cannot be your death. I would take a thousand deaths before I let you take. We have to find. We have to find someone who has the answer to this. No, no. If that's what she said, imagine what the council would say. They, they're not looking to understand you. They're just looking for whatever is easiest. Honestly, they're probably just jealous that I found you. And that I have you. That's what it was. It was just jealousy. She got mean how I'm talking. I'm talking of someone who saved your life right now. She would have she would have killed you. And you seem upset? How dare you be upset with me when I could have left you there and she would have taken your life and taken you away from me. And wait, are you telling me that you don't feel the same? What do you mean this is the same? There's no way I feel the same way those other girls felt about you. Did they save your life? Was there any scenario where they went toe-to-toe -to -toe with their sisters? The leader of their kind. I will be exiled. Persecuted. I'll be left alone with no defense for having tried to save you. Yeah, it's lyrics from a Disney movie, but they still work. She wasn't a villain. Zira was not a villain. She was just trying to survive. Are we really going to go back and forth over the different types of villain. Why are we talking about this? I 
I love you. Why can't you just say it back? It's... No, it's unacceptable that you don't love me. When I met you, I could have killed you. Apparently that would have ended this. I never would have gotten sick. Apparently my sickness is because of you. I've been coughing and sneezing. Feeling half dead all day. And for what? For what? I've lost my family, my people. And you. You don't even seem to care. I'm willing to sacrifice my place with the Monster Girl Council for you. Probably gonna call one of those. You're gonna call the vampire to come get me, aren't you? That's what you're going to do. You're gonna call him. And then you're going to have me sent away. Probably to one of those monster girl auctions, yeah. Totally consensual to be a courtesan, right? To serve someone else? Is that that reprogramming you were talking about? No. No. I don't care if it's too tight. It's not breaking you. And even if it was, it'd be less than you breaking my heart right now. Just, I don't know what I want to do with you. I don't know. But I know I can't let them have you. You're a good man. Just, you're scared. I wouldn't be in your, in your position. I'd be terrified. Terrified if I were you. Wouldn't know what to do. I... Your ribs? What do you mean your ribs? I might have heard a crack. Your face is looking so flushed. It's just a whole body hug, my love. Maybe if you just feel how much I love you, you'll see. You'll see. You'll see, honey. Just, just tell me you love me. Just tell me I don't have to let you go. Not you. It's just fine here. Breathe. No, just breathe. Look, either way, we're stuck up here for a few more, a few more hours. If you want, I can let you go, but they're going to kill you. You're not going to get away. What? No, I took that necklace off you a while ago. While you were sleeping. I had the mark of the vampire, so I saw the off chance you were going to use it to call them to get away. I ditched it back at the village. Well, that's no way to talk to me. Don't raise your voice. It's not going to get us out of this situation. And it would do nothing but have you do whatever you do to me. No. No, we're fine. We're fine right where we are. We're fine. I'm not, we're not going back for it. No. No. We have to come up with another plan. I really thought my sister was going to help us. What do you mean there is no us? There will be us. We just have to come around. It'll just take some convincing. It'll be fine. There's a bunch of tunnels to the north of here. Easy to hide out. Tons of food. Decent water. We can go there and spend a few days. And come up with our next plan of how to find this cure so that you won't go around driving the rest of the world mad <laughs> darling darling look just give me a kiss give me a kiss I don't care if you're poisoned just 
give me a kiss and maybe this will get better. Just, just one little. Mm. Oh, that's nice. Okay, see? See, it's not so bad, is it? It's not so bad. Oh, my darling. My darling, we're going to be okay. We're going to get down here in the morning. I'm going to head to, we're going to head to those caverns, those tunnels. They won't find us. We'll have several weeks before they even think to look there. By that time, we'll be gone. We'll have a plan. There's, there's some goblins down there. You can strike a deal with them. They have lots of knowledge. Lots of knowledge. We're gonna get you cured. We're gonna get me cured. Mm. And then we're gonna live happily ever after, my love. Mm. Hey guys, Zena Alexander here. Uh, inspiration for this video. Oh my god. Um, so. Uh, there was a guy that I delusionally was obsessed with and really, really thought we were going to have something at some point and threw myself at him just wholeheartedly for like a year. Oh, my God. Um, and just every every time he went out with a girl, I was just like, oh, it's nothing. Every time he told me, you know, oh, I don't think this is going to work out. I just, I, I just, my ears couldn't hear it, man. I was just such a lovesick little puppy. And I, I, again, not proud of my past, but it is just my past. Um, everyone told me they're like, you know, actually one person, one of my friends did say like, it's like you're sick. It's like you have this sickness and the only cure is to get away from him to like completely cut him off. And I could not, would not hear this. It was M possible it just wouldn't so um that was the inspo for this segment and shout out to method switch for being for voicing the uh my sister who is the voice of reason um maybe we'll see her back in this series the series has been doing fairly well so um no reason not to make another part to it uh, thank you guys for all the super chats, all of the super thanks. They mean so much to me. Huge thank you to you guys. We're at 1,500 people on the ASMR RP Lounge Discord. It is going insane. Oh my gosh. And we're closing in on 15,000 on this channel. Like we just hit 14,000. I, I, I think I'm definitely going to do a live stream. We're going to do a live stream, maybe play some Cult of the Lamb. Um, I'm going to see if I can get Method, Mars, Star, maybe even Lavender. Maybe I can convince her to come on to the live stream so that you guys can listen to us lollygag and be silly. Um, since it will be on YouTube, it'll be a lot more tame than whatever we do on Discord. Um, but maybe we'll also do a Discord night one where it is just wild. And that will probably only be able to go on Patreon. Speaking of Patreon, we are so close to 300 subscribers on Patreon. I thank you guys so much. Uh, thank you, everybody who's reached out about my voice. Again, no advice needed. I know how to take care of it. Throat coat, honey, and I'm good to go. It's just allergies. It's going to happen. And I'm pretty good at being able to work into storylines why my character sounds off. <laughs> Like I did with this one. And honestly, it fit. It fit the story long before I got sick. So I was actually kind of happy for that. Anyways, guys, this has been Zena, And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.